one is Pat Sloan here. It is Wednesday and that is Canning Jar Day and I have a few other things including another 10th anniversary giveaway. This one will be international so stay tuned, stay tuned. Plus tidy up, tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. We're going to do a series of oh, challenges let's say for tidying up over today, tomorrow, and the next day and then you have through a three-day weekend to work on this. So first First, though, I have to show you finish. I got another binding on. I am, I am on a roll, sizzling hot. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> it sounds good, right? So the binding is on the sweater weather. I have the na the blue, the blue, which is the blue used in the little um, corners here. So yeah, and then my harmony wide back. Oh, so this is going to go right into the living room as soon as the video is done. So I am super excited. Plus, you know, this is already listed on my gallery, but I added, I added the two things that I finished. Well, I added the sewing bag as well, the crow sewing bag to the gallery for this year and the cross stitch. So you can go and see both of those in the gallery page. Plus, I listed everything that's kind of on the calendar right now that I could think of. They're just all listed as items so that as I'm working on them, then I can go and fill them in. And, and later, one day, I might just go and put links and things in there. But right now, they're just sort of listed. The other thing is the 10th anniversary block. Did you love the quilt show of that the other day? Yeah, yeah. It was so fun on Monday. So fun. There's so many of you still making the 10th anniversary block love love seeing them so mine's going to go on my front door it just needs the hanging sleeve put on and i've got this binding look see like this there what do you think so i was inspired by our ambassador barbara's uh angled stripe binding so of course i had to i had to copy you barbara i had a copy so i've got that so that won't take long i'll finish those two and that'll be ready to hang up so before we do the tidy up part, I put the mushroom tree up. You want to see? You want to see? Let's go look. Let's take a little mushroom tour. I think I've shown you this one. Oh, I've still got some Santas up here from my dad <laughs> and his wife. They had them at the Christmas at our table settings. We'll just have to eat those, won't we? So they don't get old. So I've got some mushrooms there. And then I've got these little lights they just look like fairy lights aren't they pretty and then my tree which is massively sparkly it's very hard to film uh, but in real life it's a little easier to see <laughs> but here are all the mushrooms here are all the mushrooms so many of them were gifts from you I've also got a couple little gnomes in there see them look how magical and then I put some of the other mushroom things there's a little bit bigger uh, thing like a garland the wool garland there we go so this is that is the mushroom tour oh polka dot fabric just covering the base because you know we have fabric <laughs> thank you everybody for the mushrooms for my mushroom tree it is so magical thank you everybody who sent me mushrooms most of the mushrooms on the mushroom tree are from you and you and you and they just are so so sweet it just makes me happy 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 to have a little sparkly mushroom tree <laughs> and eventually i'll hang the uh, oh my stars mushroom quilt there but not now. I, I'm, I'm loving the blue and white. So I don't want to mess it up and have earth tones in there right now. <laughs> That's like that would just be messing up my vibe, messing it up. Let's talk about the tidying up because January is one of these months that is absolutely the best for tidying. I think everybody feels super motivated to just jump in there and sort of get things organized. You might be doing your whole house or, or a certain room of your house, maybe your basement or a family room or something like that. But if you wanna do your quilting area, your sewing area, instead, like some years I've sort of done something all month long in January. There are many, many other YouTubers who do that. But I decided this year because um, I, you know, I've done that so many different times, I thought I would just do a sort of um, highly focused 
several days. So starting today and tomorrow and Friday, I will give you assignments. I'm going to give you some ideas from the ambassadors on what you can do. So you can pick and choose. You know, I'm all about choices, pick and choose. And then you can work through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We don't have a video on Monday, it's Martin Luther King Day. And then on Tuesday, be ready. Be ready on t next Tuesday to share what you did. Take a photo, um, you know, share, a take, a be take a before picture, take an after picture and show them both. Let's show some progress so that we can see it for ourselves and you can get some love from the art quilting community when you share it because definitely people will just love, love, love on you to see how well you did on, you know, organizing or whatever it is you do. Okay, so today's assignment. First of all, put away any kind of finished projects. If you finish something and you still have a stack of fabric that needs to be put in with all the other fabrics, you have patterns laying there, you have maybe cutoffs or something that haven't been put away. The stacks might be on your cutting table, they might be on your ironing board, they might be on the floor. I tell you what, I had a stack. I had a thing on the floor down there for several days. I don't know if you noticed it. It was, it's now right above on the table, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the witch's, the witch's uh, garden, uh, the quilted witch. <sighs> yeah, I was like, why is that on the floor? But I needed some place to put it, so I put it on the floor. Do not like that. So get the things off the floor. Um, if you, you, you know, so get into your bins and look at your finished things and be sure you don't have something hanging around that's finished, uh, the parts of it uh, that need to be put away. So we also have some tips for today from uh, Yvonne and Melissa. So from Yvonne, she says, you might wanna take one of the days of these six days and cut scraps. Cause a lot of you wanna take your scraps, you might wanna cut them up, you know, and they do the, um, like my um, sea glass quilt, you might wanna do with the two and a half inch squares. Uh, so if you wanna do that, take one of the days to cut scraps. You might be cutting them into pre-cut sizes, five inch, 10 inch, you know, five inches charm pack, 10 inches layer cake, two and a half inch strips, uh, or like jelly rolls, because there's tons of patterns that use those shapes. So if you pre-cut them into those shapes, you have a bunch of patterns that you can use. So that is um, Yvonne's uh, suggestion for one of the days of the next six. Melissa's suggestion is, uh, and they, you might get more of these in the next couple of days from both of these ambassadors. I don't remember. Everybody's throwing suggestions out to me. Uh, Melissa's is to change your rotary cutter blade, because if you haven't changed the blade in a while, it's probably due. Um, and if you have spare bobbins and you want to wind them off, you know, wind the thread, you know, maybe you have a spool that needs wound off or you just have some spare bobbins that you want to normally keep, you know, several with your basic sewing color on it. So do that today or one of the days of, you know, I'm going to just give you the idea and you can pick where you do it. Uh, so those are your tidy up challenges for today. Tomorrow I'll have a new set and Friday I'll have the third set. But remember, today take a photo of whatever it is. Like if you decide, okay, I'm gonna put some stuff away, go take a photo. If you have a big scrap bag, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do what Yvonne said, I'm gonna cut up the scraps. Take a before picture so you can show us the after picture. If, do the same for your bobbins or your rotary cutter. So there you go, there you go. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? All right, so that's, a, that's tidy up. Okay, the other things, we're gonna go on the other side of the table. First, random things, random things. When you are wearing things like this is a sweatshirt over a top, do you have like one sleeve that always seems to be longer than the other? Like I, like for the life of me, I cannot make the t-shirt stick out from underneath like this. It looks cute. It looks cute over here. A little t-shirt sticking out. No, over here, it goes in. Goes, I cannot, I cannot get them to be the same. <laughs> I don't know what the deal, it's always been like that for me. So I don't know if like, I don't know what I do. My arms are the same length, so I don't know what's going on. Also, did you see my watch with the stripe, red and white stripe? That's a swatch, a swatch watch that my family, my dad and his wife gave me for Christmas. Isn't that darling? So cute, so cute, I had to show you. Cause uh, wearing long sleeves, I don't know if you'd, you'd seen it, if you'd spied it there on my wrist. 
All right, the giveaway we have still until Friday where you can enter for the uh, large Aliso in yellow or the little we two of the way one two one will get a mini and somebody will get the larger and the mini will be in the green this is the um persimmon i think they call it but you, this pistachio the green one is what we're giving away so be sure that you have entered and uh if you're having trouble entering then uh, contact somebody locally because it's working change your browser change the device you're using because if you are mobile sometimes and often mobile often when somebody's having a problem they're on mobile mobiles can work for a lot of people but for some people they can't so there you go but today i had the second giveaway and it is international so anybody anywhere and my wonderful friends at orphil this this is what is going out to one of our community for celebrating my 10th anniversary of the Quilt Along with Pat Sloan group. So it is a box of a perfect, perfect colors, perfect box of neutrals. So let me just, let me just show you here. I have to move, I have to move that. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just, let's just come in here. So this is the regular size spools not the small ones. These are the regular size spools. Oh, I'm missing a spool. I took a spool out for some reason. Okay, there is another one that will be there. I had, I have no idea. I'm going to have to go put that one back in. <laughs> no, so this is live. I'm not even editing it out. So you get, you get uh, 12 spools and they are the best neutrals. I think that might be white. I don't know. <laughs> but these are great for piecing. You can use them for, um, machine uh, applique, machine quilting. So 50 weight, there you go. You will get a complete box, which will include that color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not, whoops, wrong way. I'm zooming in, I should be zooming out. Uh, nothing like opening the box and having a spool of thread missing. Be like, 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 you know, something your kids would take, right? But I don't have kids, so obviously I took it out of there for some reason. Oh my goodness, okay. So the other thing I want to do is um, give you a little bit more information about the mercantile quilt along because I have to be honest, sometimes when somebody else has written these quilt alongs, I don't dive too deep into them until I have to. And when this, the kit came, I just kind of got very excited. I went, okay, let's take a look at it. And I didn't read through and all that good stuff. So here is the update on how everything works. First of all, the circles are appliqued. So you'll be making the block and then cutting it into a circle and then appliquing it down to a four patch behind it. So for those of you who do not want to applique it, you could make them in a square. You know, you could piece something instead. Uh, so, and I am going to do four by four, four by four, which will make a little bit smaller quilt. Uh, and that way, uh, I think it's more doable for, for what I do for charity because it'll, it'll go to charity. So I don't need an 82. What is it? 82 or 88? Oh, it's 88. It's 88 by 88. And mine will be, I don't know, whatever it is. It's like 14 inches smaller. And so I will be uh, following along, but shortening, shortening the quilt along. So there's two free downloads. Now I do have a project page now, so you can go to the project page and find all of this. So there's two free downloads uh, that from Lori Holt, uh, and they're quite extensive. Let me just take you, let me just show you. There is a sew along guide, and the sew along guide has sort of the details. You know, and she also is going to do tutorials and she is also doing YouTube, but it also, it has all the blocks listed and then um, the cutting, it has all the different fabrics if you're using her. So you can use this to replace for your own fabrics if you're not using her fabrics. And so uh, that's, and then there's some, uh, yeah, so this is mostly all the, the cutting, all the cutting. And the, and the patterns are, are free, these are free. Free, free, free. It's very nice of her. She does these really big sew-alongs. Okay, and then this is the sampler block guide. So in the block guide, you're going to have each of the blocks with uh, directions. So you're gonna each of the blocks with directions. Since I am only going to do 16 blocks, which will be like this, 
plus the border, you know, plus the border. That means I am just going to follow until we've done 16 blocks. So that'll be these five, this five, this five, that's 15, and that'll be the last one, number 16. And at that point, I won't do any more blocks. I will stop and I will do the border. So that is how I'm going to approach this. It'll be, um, you know, slightly modified in that way that it'll end sooner, but we'll still follow along. And then that way, for those of you who want to go and follow Lori's um, tutorials and her videos, we will be in sync, you know, versus switching out or switching blocks around. I will just follow along exactly and just make mine smaller. So stop, stop at block 16, which I think will work out really well. I am also going to put in a bit of this fabric. It is a gingham, and I just think the black will be really nice in this quilt, uh, adding to those fabrics. So I'm going to put in a bit of this, and I have a project page now with all this stuff on it. Uh, also, if you buy the kit, it comes with both of these patterns. And so it comes with these and then a guide sheet. So all of this comes, you know, full color printed with the kit. So if you love the kit, then you don't need to print any of this. It's going to, going to be there for you. All right, now it's time to do canning jars. Let's go. Canning jars, I'm making the smaller ones. And this is what we did, So I got last week. I've got all the canning jars for row one done. So cute. Got them sewn together. So now I would just want to talk about the scalloped shelf. So it's got the scalloped shelf that goes under each of the rows and talk about my other mushrooms. Because since I now have the plan, let me just, let me just pop that picture up. So you can see here, this is where I laid them all out on the down here, down here on, on the desk the desk, the cutting table. I laid them out on the cutting table and I got the rows and I'm going to go with that. I really like that layout. I think it's going to work really well. And so let me show you row two. Here's row two. I will have the little pink mushrooms and then these, which actually have to go this way because they're directional They're and these are directional. Then the bees. Uh, then this tossed mushrooms, but there are some directional birds. So depending on how I cut this, if I want to get a cardinal in there going straight up. And then I've got green mushrooms, which are super tossed, so I don't really have to worry about them too much. And uh, this sort of beige mushroom. So again, I will look at where I fussy cut the jar so that if I have like a really significant one like this, I might want it to be so that it's right side up although I think it tends to be the one upside down. But anyway, that this is the row that I'm going to do. What I also have ready is all the jar tops are done. So all of these are finished. So all I have to do is cut from here. And I have, I don't have all of these sew and flips done, but I have the scalloped edge. And so the pattern tells you how many you need. And it's super easy because all you're doing to make the scallop is a sew and flip on either either side like this and that makes the scallop and then it is less pointy because of the seam allowance once you put the seam allowance in the scallop looks like that and so that is the edge so what i am going to do as you can see as you can see it's dark out <laughs> it's 5 30 and so i I'm going to cut all the jars, sew the jars, sew that scalloped edge so that I have row number two of jars and the scalloped edge. And what I'm going to do is sew that tonight. Uh, maybe until maybe some of it I'll do tomorrow morning and then I will film the wrap up of this. Uh, so I'll probably have different clothes on because I'm not going to want to change again back into this. <laughs> so I'm going to go and sew. And it is a new day. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see this outfit tomorrow because I'm going to tape tomorrow's video as well. Uh, so, so I've got, what have I get done? There we go. We have the shelf under the shelf. So this is all the little, the little blocks to go under the shelf. And I didn't sew it to the top row, but I did sew. You know, I do have, here's the top row. So nice. And I cut, let's see, let's just take a look. Uh, because I have, I have a whole bunch of stuff cut. 
So this is good. I've got all of them cut and I've made all of the second row of canning jars and they just look so good. The mushrooms are looking so good like this. You know, I was really not sure. I guess that, that's the best way to say it. I just was not sure when they were big chunks, but when you get them into smaller pieces, they just look so fantastic. So fantastic. So here is the top row like this. And then I will sew that row up and sew this. And because I have all of these little, you know, rectangles ready, I also put the strips. Your pattern has you to put the strips on the end here of the canning jar so that as long as the shelf. So there we go. So that's what it's starting to look like. Really, really awesome. So awesome. Okay, so I have to show you something fun. Now hold on. Don't click out of here yet because I got something else. Uh, there, look at that. Look at that. One of you sent me this fabric and this aqua squares. And I'm just getting a couple more aqua square blocks done and then that project will be finished. The sea glass. But look at this one. The blue plate, blue plate special. <laughs> That's so perfect. So perfect for our breakfast club. Okay, we've also hit 107,000 at YouTube here. <gasps> Big numbers, big numbers. And I believe these, this was made for me by Marie. I think it's Marie in North Carolina. And so I just keep, at, you know, put, I've got double layers now, but I can stack them on there. I just think it's fun. I think it's fun. Now, before we, before we end, uh, Sewing Machine Plus, my friends at Sewing Machine Plus that I work with, they are awesome. And they wanted me to let you know that right now until midnight on uh, East Coast time, uh, January 15th, the 15th. Until then, you can go in with the code New Year, and I've got this in the description box and at my website today, but the code New Year will get you a 15% discount on a load of stuff. There's a lot, some stuff like machines and furniture and some things like that are, are excluded, but there's tons of stuff. So you could go get batting, you could look at uh, rulers you might need, you know, to replace, you know, look at that kind of thing and see what's out there. They also have the Jazz 2 and the Allegra with a mystery discount. And so you, it's a secret discount. So secret discounts, you go and you can um, find out what that is. You know, you kind of put it in the checkout and you start the process and it'll show you what the discount is. So that is super cool because I know a lot of you are looking at the Jazz 2 and the Allegra. Okay, and don't forget, go to my website today. Nowhere else, just the website and enter for the second 10th anniversary giveaway. There are more to come. So be sure you understand how to um, enter the giveaways because, hey, this is fun. And this one's international with Orifil Thread. All right, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. Don't forget to do the Tidy Up Challenge. I'll see you online.